All right, so I have three to the power of x is equal to 30. So for this problem, I wanna find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with three to the power of x is equal to 30. Now 30 here, this is the same thing as three times 10. So now I have three to the power of x is equal to three times 10. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by three. So when these two cancel out, now I'll be left with three to the power of x over three is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, three to the power of x over three, well, three is the same thing as three to the power of one. So now I have three to the power of x minus one is equal to 10. So now to solve this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log three to the power of x minus one is equal to log 10. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So I can move x minus one to the front. So that's gonna equal x minus one times log three, which is equal to log 10. Now, if I divide both sides by log three, these two cancel out and I'll be left with x minus one is equal to log 10 over log three. Now log 10, that's the same thing as one. So now I have x minus one is equal to one over log three. Now if I add one on both sides, these two cancel out and I'll be left with x is equal to one over log three plus one. Now one over log three, that's simply equal to 2.0959. So I have 2.0959 plus one. If I add these two, I get 3.0959. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have seven to the power of 100 minus seven to the power of 97. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite 100 here, oops, sorry. I'm gonna first rewrite 100 here as 97 plus three. So now I have seven to the power of 97 plus three minus seven to the power of 97. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So seven to the power of 97 plus three, that's equal to seven to the power of 97 times seven to the power of three. Now I have this minus seven to the power of 97. Now from here, if I factor out seven to the power of 97, I get seven to the power of 97 times seven to the power of three minus one. Seven to the power of three, that's actually equal to 343. So now I have seven to the power of 97 times 343 minus one. And 343 minus one, that's equal to 342. So now I have seven to the power of 97 times 342, which is my answer. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So I had seven to the power of 100 minus seven to the power of 97. And now this time, instead of changing 100 to 97 plus three, I'm gonna change 97 to 100 minus three. So I'm gonna have seven to the power of 100 minus seven to the power of 100 minus three. Now I can rewrite this as seven to the power of 100 minus seven to the power of 100 plus negative three. And this is equal to seven to the power of 100 minus seven to the power of 100 times seven to the power of negative three. So now from here, if I factor out seven to the power of 100, I get seven to the power of 100 times one minus seven to the power of negative three. Seven to the power of negative three, that's the same thing as one over seven to the power of three. 7 to the power of 3, that's obviously equal to 343. So now I have 7 to the power of 100 
times 1 minus 1 over 343. So now I can rewrite this as, I can rewrite 1 as 343 over 343. So now I have 343 over 343 minus 1 over 343, which is simply equal to 342 over 343. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 10. So for this problem, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by factoring out 3 to the power of x for my left-hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 10. Now, 1 plus 1, that's obviously equal to 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 10. Now, I want to get rid of this 2 because I want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Now, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is the same thing as 5. So now, this gives me another equation. I have 3 to the power of x equals 5. So how would I solve this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 5. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can actually move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 3, which is equal to log 5. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to log 5 over log 3. Now log 5, that's equal to 0 0.699. Log 3, that's equal to 0 0.477. So if you divide these two, you get 1.464. So this is my answer. All right, so for this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 1. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is for my left hand side, I'm going to factor out 3 to the power of x. So now I have 3 to the power of x times, now 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is 1, so I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is equal to 1. Now, if I simplify with some of the parentheses, I get 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 1. Now, 3 here, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 3 to the power of x plus 1, which is equal to 1. And 1 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 0, because anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides, and these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to negative 1. So this is my answer. Now, I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So again, I first start with 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 1. I factor out 3 to the power of x, so I get 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 1. However, now, instead of multiplying 3 to the power of x with 3, I'm actually going to divide both sides by 3. So now these two are going to cancel out, and I'll have 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 3. Now, if I have something in the form 1 over a to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of negative n. So we can think of 3 in this case as 3 to the power of 1. So 1 over 3 to the power of 1, that's going to be the same thing as 3 to the power of negative 1. 
And remember, if I have something in form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to negative 1. So this is my answer again using the second method. So now to check, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 1. x is equal to negative 1, so I have 3 to the power of negative 1 plus 3 to the power of negative 1 plus 3 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1. 3 to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 3. So I have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 1. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is 3 over 3. So I have 3 over 3 equals 1. 3 over 3 is 1. So I have 1 equals 1. And this is right. So my answer is right.